What is going on, y'all? It's Bully bringing out a brand new top five for today. Now, uh, y'all went crazy on the last top five, so I'm gonna make y'all deal. This video hit 100 likes. I give y'all two top fives coming up this week or next week. And then if this video hit 50 likes, you know, 50 is the minimum, I give y'all another top five this week. But if y'all hit 100, I give y'all two more. So that's pretty much it for that. We're gonna get straight up into the class setups without wasting any more time. And hit that notification bell to never miss a video or top five. Let's get straight up into class setups. Now for the first gun, we're gonna start off with the brand new gun. It was just called the Vargo. Yeah, I should probably like, oh, it's new. He gonna throw it up at the top five. Listen, the kill time is absolutely broken. The only problem with this gun is the reload animation. Once the reload animation actually get fixed, and make sure I do recommend I'm putting on the 60 round max, like 40, 45, like 45 fast mag. But once the reload animation get fixed, I'm telling y'all this gun is going to be absolutely monstrous. It, I, I really don't have to say too much. Like, this gun as a whole is going to be very monstrous when it comes to actually... It, it just mill. It's like the Farrah 83, but on steroids. It's like before the Farrah even got nerfed. So I actually recommend y'all actually trying this on if y'all want. We'll go through the attachments. For the muzzle, make sure you put on group suppression, and that adds bullet velocity, sound suppression, effective damage rate, vertical recoil control. You already know it takes off ADS speed. The task force also takes off ADS speed. One thing I do remember, like, know is that everybody was complaining about the task force. Like, everything just being so, like, how would I explain it? So slow when it comes to ADS. -ing. So you can't change some of these task forces around. But I know I this is a concept that I will be rocking the moment I have the ability to actually use this blueprint. So that, and I'm using Axel on three times with the, the spend as grip. Y'all already know what spend as grip do. Tough explanatory 60 round mag and then spend as grip horizontal vertical rear control. Uh, like I said, I recommend y'all actually using it because once once they actually fix the gun, it's absolutely gonna be broken. There's other things you can't do to actually fix the own. I would say like as a whole, just just, just fix the, the the ADS speed, but you maybe be able to put on a regular suppressor instead of just the other suppressor. So we, it, there's multiple things you can do with this gun, but let's get straight up into the next gun. Now, for this class set, we are going to be taking care of the ST Jizzle, aka the ST Jizzle. If y'all do hear Stone in the background yelling, that is not me. That is not me that is Stone it. And this is not no, this is not no gameplay playing in the background that is Stone it, the man himself. Now, we're going to go through these attachments one by one. For the muzzle, make sure you put on the MX silence. So the reason I'm saying that is because of vertical, horizontal, recoil control. The ADS speed go down a little bit. So. For the barrel, make sure you put in a VDD 7760MM05B86. Yeah. That or this as well, it's self expenditure, more recoil control. More more recoil control. Bullet velocity and damage range. And then for the under barrel, make sure you put in the M19 30 strike full angle. The reason I'm saying that because that that not moving. It's not moving. For the magazine, make sure you put in the Grinko 50 round mag because of the fire rate. Because we do like that fire rate. We do need that fire rate. For the ammunition, make sure you put on length it because we do need more hit detection on this gun. We are using this as an AR, not an SMG. All ARs need a lot of a lot of bullet velocity. A lot, a lot of bullet velocity. We're not using this at close range unless we have to. But other than that, make sure I put on the length and with the with the you know the fire rate. This is the good comma right here. I'm marking the G16. You call, I could also run. For another site, if you don't like that, it's the SVT-40. Make sure I put that on. And then for the stock, it's the VDD weighted. And then the, on the, the rear grip is polymer grip. And then the, the perks vital, which does more damage on, on torso. So just in case you all shoot people on the body. And then the perk tool is fully loaded. Like I said, I do recommend y'all putting on this gun. I, this is a go-to like gun as a whole when I use like an AR. But fully loaded. That's pretty much it for the class setup. Let's get straight up onto the next gun. Now, recently... The XM4, actually, the XM4 have gotten nerfed. If I do hit start it again, yeah, it is not me. So, so for the XM4, the XM4 got nerfed. And this is basically still the, the exact class setup I would not ever change because the XM4 absolutely strive with the XM4 strive back. Yes, I would say it's a, if they don't feel the exact same as before, but it still hit. It still hit. It does, still does damage. It's still monstrous. They did absolutely nothing with the nerf. They did absolutely nothing with the nerf. So for the muscle, make sure you put on the HG suppressor that adds south suppressor, vertical recoil control, bullet velocity, effective damage range, takes up the ADS speed, the sudden aim stability. For the barrel, make sure you also put on task force. The reason I'm saying this is because the bullet velocity holds, hold, yeah, well, horizontal, vertical recoil control, effective damage range. If y'all don't like that, y'all can pay, you'll probably put on reinforce for like more like movement, but I just put on task force. For the axle arms, I put on the, well, for the optic, I put on the axle arms. Self explanatory. I, I just like the axle arm, so. Best, best sight. Now, for the under barrel, make sure you put on the field agent grip. And the reason I'm saying that is because of the vertical and horizontal recoil control. Like I said, we are using this for long range. We are we do not need recoil at all. We have to minimize recoil. 
as most as possible, especially for long range guns. And then for the magazine, make sure you put on the 60 round mag. And the reason I'm saying that is because um, there's a lot of bullets in the gun. Or you could put like a 45, but I recommend I put it on 60 because the way how who who I be fighting to be a lot of people. So I need the most amount of bullets possible. I need yeah what with the least amount of penalty so make sure y'all all try out this exit four class setup let's get straight up into the next gun now 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 no matter the situation no matter the predicament this girl absolutely clutches up no matter what's going on in life so i recommend y'all actually using it the girl nothing bad to say about it the reason is that number four is because um I feel like I should be trying other guns, you know, those other guns, but the grind, I have no reason, there's no, I, I ain't gonna lie, if some of the guns wasn't performing how they was performing right now, i still be using the grind. The grind don't move, the damage is good, the fire rate is good, only if you was able to put, like, rapid fire or, like, modern warfare guns, oh my god, oh my god, it'd be over, it'd be over, but, for the muzzle, make sure you put a monitor to suppress it for the damage range and south suppression, for the... Barrel, make sure I put on the Tempest 26.4 Arch Angel. You ready to know damage range, bullet velocity, vehicle control. For the, for the laser, I use tag laser because of the ADSB. You are able to see further with, with the iron sights too. So, like, I, I don't really like use the sight. Sight basically just zoom in, but I like the ADSB too. So, for the under barrel, make sure you put a commando full grip for the uh, recoil stabilization, aim stability, etc. And then for the magazine, make sure you also put on the 50 round drum. Well, mag, my fault. And the reason I'm saying that is because I'm um, the 60. I always say this in every single guard class setup. The 60 makes the gun too slow. You do not want a slow gun. Not not that deep. It's not that deep, player. So, I actually recommend y'all putting on the 50 instead of the 60. So, that, 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 I'm telling y'all, listen. 50 instead of the 60. Please. Amen. All right. Now, if you want to use a sight, take up the tack laser. But other than that, leave everything how it is. I'm out. Wait, hold on. We got a next gun. Let's get straight up into the next gun. Now, what we have right here is a Rebirth General, a Rebirth Salute, a Rebirth Demon. This is an OG Rebirth setup, OG Verdance. This gun as a whole, no matter the situation, the predicament, this gun will still always hold its weight. That's not my top five, and the reason why I'm saying that is because this gun actually still does damage. The only problem that I have with this gun is the, um, the recoil and sometimes, like, the time to kill. Like, an extra bullet. But other than that... Like, absolutely broke it. It came down to a point to where they had to get this gun so many nerfs to it, and it's still good. It's still good. It's still absolutely good. So, if y'all do like this EM2, make sure y'all putting on this class setup specifically. Let's go straight through the class setups. No, we are not using the suppressor. Make sure you put on that age suppressor. Y'all already know what's going on. This is our suppressor, vertical, vertical recoil control, bullet velocity, effective damage range. For the task force, make sure you put on, well, for the barrel, make sure you put a task force for bullet velocity. Recoil control and effective damage range as a whole. For the under barrel, this is more recoil control. So at this point, you you gonna be beaming down the street, around the corner, up down the block, around the corner, or up down the block, and around the corner. So make sure you put that on. For the magazine, make sure you also put on the forty round mag because this is the best mag when it comes to the EM2 with the least amount of penalties. Make sure you put that on. And then for the axle arms, make sure well for the optic, make sure you put on the axle arms. You can't put on anything else like personal preference but i am using this for ar so i put on the axle arms and that's because um it's the best now that's pretty much it for the video make sure you all leave a like subscribe if you are new hit the notification bell to numbers of video upload make sure this video get what 50 likes 50 likes and i'll make another one 50 likes and i'll make another top five on another category i'm out enjoy your day peace